Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Donna. Today we're going to be making up one of those one skillet or one pan meals, um, which is the potato and green bean and sausage. Um, you can do this in one pan if you want and just stick it in the oven, throw all your greens together and bake it. But I, doing it this way, it just get a little bit more flavor. So here I have one and a quarter pound. I have a mix actually here because that's what I had. Uh, some kielbasa and some Polish. There's about one and a quarter pounds here. So just fry it up until uh, you, you want it to, to get a little bit of brown. Not much, but uh, we'll get that browned up and then we'll get some onions and stuff thrown in there. Alrighty, okay. I have my sausage fried up. You can see I didn't brown it a whole lot, just lightly, because it's gonna continue cooking in the oven. Meanwhile, get your oven preheated to 350. And when I did my sausage, I did add three tablespoons of oil. Now, I'm gonna cook mine in like, like I said, it's a one pot or one, or one pan or one skillet meal. meal. This is a cast iron, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, cook mine from the stove top and put it in the oven. But I have, two pounds of little gold potatoes. Um, you find them in the little tiny bags and they're like little two pound bags or something like that. If you can't find them, I do suggest using the golds because they're really creamy potatoes and texture does make a difference and they're, they're buttery. They're just a good potato. Uh, just use a couple of pounds. Um, now to the potatoes, I'm gonna coat them and the oil that I fried the potato, uh, sausage in. Get them a little coated there. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Get this out of the way, just drizzle that over it. That's a half a teaspoon. And here I have a half a teaspoon of black pepper I have one teaspoon of Tony's Creole seasoning and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. And just drizzle that all over it. Now the Tony Creole seasoning is what I used here, the one teaspoon. And I have my pan turned off right now because it's still hot. I have a, a small onion and two medium, well, yeah, they're medium, more medium, I guess, chopped garlic. Two medium cloves of garlic. Now with those spices, I know you're probably wondering why would the onion, when you already put the on the garlic powder, why you put, because when you blend them, they just taste different that way. But what I'm gonna do is just get this all mixed up Waiting for my oven to preheat. See the color those potatoes are taking on from that smoked paprika. It's pretty. But I'm gonna lay my sausage on here. Let's get, I just wanna make sure this is mixed up. And do cut your onions in pretty big wedges. You don't want them to burn if you cut them real small, especially using cast iron. To that, I'm going to add two 15-ounce cans of green beans. That's two. Gently move those around. Let them fall where they may. Don't want them to break up. This is actually a really simple but delicious meal. Now I did put the Creole seasoning in there which has a lot of salt. Your sausage has a lot of salt. So I'm not gonna add any salt. But you can taste if you want to see if you wanna add more salt. So what I'm just doing is coming down on the sides and just kinda letting everything fall into place together here. 
and I'll, I'll uh, put a piece of foil over this. And I'm basically just baking it until those potatoes are. Sausage is already cooked. And we're just wanting those potatoes to get nice and creamy and tender. And I'm going to eat some dinner. But we're going to have some jalapeno cornbread with that. So I'm going to get this in the oven because I know it's just about getting ready to beef on me. So I'm going to get some foil on this. All right, there it is. You can see it's steaming hot. I got my jalapeno cornbread to go with it. And, um, but I wanted to come on and share it with y'all. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy. A lot of times it's a lot of things we have on hand. So um, I baked mine close to an hour um, for my taters to get a little bit soft there. So keep an eye on it, but um, wanted to share it. Till next time, you guys, I hope you enjoy it. Give it a try. God bless and have a wonderful day. Bye. And please subscribe.